Hi, I'm Sherry Barnes with State Line Movie Time in Tabor City, North Carolina. I wanted to do something for the children and the families. There's just really not enough out here for them and make it affordable. I spent a lot of time um, sick from a car accident. Um, and being in those four walls and seeing all these children and parents bringing other children to see the sick child, they were inside so much. And I said, well, when I get recovered, and it was a seven year ordeal, I will pray over this and God will lead us to something to do outside. And I really give all the credit and glory to God because I don't know how I came up with the idea, but we wanted to do something outside. I took down trees, built berms, graded the parking lot so it would drain proper, uh, brought in crushed rock and coquina so it would harden. So I just laid the whole thing out, I engineered it and I had the screen built and then of course I had to get back up there myself and paint it again. <laughs> it was a painted proper. It's just an everyday job and it's, I'm so grateful that I'm walking and can do things. It's, it's tiring and I'm still very sore and still healing but God keeps me going and to see these children and families have a safe, wonderful, happy experience. They're so excited. And just to know that I can give a piece back from my life to these kids, it's, it makes it all worth it. It takes uh, several computers to run one projector. And we have named the projector the beast. And he is huge. And he does everything but wash my car. <laughs> he can do it all. This projector is state of the art. The picture is so crisp and so beautiful, and so bright and pretty. It is incredible. It came to me by way of California from uh, Munich, Germany. Uh, they did a great job with this projector. It's state of the art. It's, you can't get a better projector in my opinion. We have shown uh, Missing Link and the Hustle. We have The Secret Life of Pets 2 coming out and it is fantastic. It's good for adults as well as children. It's hilarious. Um, this week we have Wonder Park. It's a great, great movie. And then the second movie is Mission Impossible Fallout. It's a great movie on the big screen. It's a good action movie. So they'll all be first run movies, just like what you would see in the movie theaters. So as they come out, we'll be showing them. We have fireworks at intermit intermission and um, a lot more activities coming in. We have the giant checkerboard. We have bubbles, bubble mania, where a, a child can be put inside of a soap bubble. We have um, a lot of activities coming in. We have a, a roasting pit for hot dogs and, and marshmallows. You can bring your own and we fire it up and the kids love it. Um, and then around the pit, on the, of course the outside, it's a huge uh, roasting pit. Uh, we have pennies from heaven and the children find pennies and they're always out there. It's amazing. And then they pray for their parents when they find pennies because they've been raining down a blessing from heaven. And so it teaches them to pray and have faith. And now we have customers, uh, parents or not, that throw change out there all the time. So we never know. You know, the kids are always out there, but as soon as they get here, they get out of the cars and run and find pennies from heaven. I grew up in a small community, uh, Hallsbury, North Carolina. Back then, we always had uh, a drive-in movie theater, at least five I know of. The main one that we used to go to was Starlight in Whiteville. Well, there was uh, one in Whiteville, the Starlight, and then there was one that was 
wasn't quite a family venue, I think, was in Champ Chadburn. This one will always be a family venue. Um, so don't even ask. But I don't think there's another one around for four, four and a half hours. If you could find one that's still running. The younger generations, they 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 really don't, don't really know much about driving. So now, you know, it, it, the word is out there. Now they are very excited about coming out here. People come out all the time and I could be on the tractor or programming my computers or my projector or I could just be sitting on my front porch and they'll stop and talk and tell me all their beautiful memories of a drive-in movie theater. Um, I have a very, very good friend, Miss Clara, that said she and her brother went every week to drive-in movie theater and she's in her 80s. And she said they thought they would die if they couldn't get to that drive-in movie theater. It was that big a deal to them. And everyone enjoys it. There's, there, what's there not to love? It's fresh air and the kids are off their computers. They're off their phones. And they really have a social experience. They run around with other children, parents meet parents, and we're puppy friendly. And the, the dogs have to be on leashes, but we have to have some of the sweetest puppies out here that, oh, they're beautiful. They'll melt your heart. And so if you don't want to leave your, your family member, your dog at home, you can bring the dog with you. We probably have three generations that don't know where to drive in the movie theater. God bless my preacher's granddaughter. She works for him at his drive-in, which is a barbecue restaurant. And you just drive through and pick up your, your, your barbecue plate. And she said, uh, Mimi, I want to come out and work at your drive-thru. I said, honey, you come out any time, but it's not like your granddaddy's. So they brought her out, and she was astounded, just absolutely amazed that this is a drive-in movie theater. And, and she's probably, I guess, around 14-ish. She, she was amazed. So to bring back some wholesome, beautiful memories to each generation. It's got to be continued. It's, it's just a, a beautiful way to live, a beautiful experience. And a lot of parents, grandparents, it's hard to chase them around a amusement park or, or try to amuse them. For this, the whole family can enjoy. There's something for the kids, there's something for the adults, there's something for everyone. Thank you.